Hey guys, Andrew at Prime Medical Training, and if you're trying to get a CPR and or first aid replacement card, here's what you need to know. But first, please make sure you give this video a like and you subscribe below. So, here's the deal. Depending on who you took your course through and when you took your course, you either received a physical paper card or the card initially came through your email. Now, let's talk about the email card because it's the easiest. If you got an e-card, it came to you in your email, the easiest thing to do is just go to uh, the American Heart Association's website, and that's gonna be heart.org backslash mycards. There you'll be able to put in your first name, your last name, and the email address that you used when you uh, signed up for the class. And that should allow you to retrieve that certification card. Not all organizations do that though, so if, you're, if you took a class through the Red Cross or ECSI or any one of those, uh, the process might look a little different and you'll probably want to contact the, uh, the organization itself or if you know who your instructor was, contact them to find out how to get the replacement card. However, if you got a paper card, tracking that down can be a little more difficult because maybe your instructor's dropped off the face of the earth uh, and there is no more paper trail. Uh, so the first step I would recommend is, is going and, and trying to contact the instructor, but there is no national database for paper cards. So if you received a paper card, you've got to contact the instructor or his training center. But uh, if you can't find the instructor, it's going to be even more difficult to figure out who the training center was. And honestly, we've come across a lot of cases where even if they track it down to the training center um, that the instructor was under, they don't even have records because the instructor wasn't doing the things that he was supposed to. So be aware, paper cards are pretty elusive. If you lose them and you didn't go through a very reputable company or organization, you may have a difficult time getting a replacement and you might have to retake the whole class over again. But if you got the e-card, that should be super easy um, and uh, should only take you a minute or two to be able to look that back up. Hope that was helpful. If you have more questions about how to get your replacement CPR or first aid card, please leave your comments below.